Police identify suspects in triple shooting in DeKalb County Waffle House. Uh, when we were prepping for the show, I said DeKalb, which is Ugh. bad and terrible. And yeah, like, no. yeah. Police said one of the people injured in the triple shooting early Thursday morning is at Waffle House in DeKalb, DeKalb County <laughs> is being named as suspect. Police have also identified a juvenile as second suspect. The early morning gun battle sent three people in the hospital, according to DeKalb County Police. DeKalb County Police. And at least one in critical condition. As a formerly okay. young person... <laughs> Waffle House is exactly where you would go to get shot. Oh my god! And also, uh, there are lots of legal issues with this. Yeah. So, so Certainly. what are some that jump out to you immediately? Murder is first. <laughs> yeah. First, all the, all the criminal issues. <laughs> yeah. Right. And then all of the potential civil issues that yeah. are going to emerge. Whether I don't know how safe this Waffle House is, or what duty the Waffle House may have had to prov- to minimize the risk of shootings. Potentially, someone could make it, the argument that, hey, this might be Waffle House's fault for creating an unsafe environment. They're gonna, someone would I try. It would have to be very fact specific to to that particular location yes. and what's been going on around that location and okay. what they've done about it. Exactly. Huh. A personal injury attorney somewhere is gonna want to try to prove that Waffle House was negligent so they can get a verdict against Waffle House and get money right. for the estate. Really? Cause, well, because corporate pockets are big pockets. Yeah, they have insurance speaking. policies. They're like the and they have insurance. In the thing. And if you're asking for a relatively low amount, a lot of them will just settle. It it's cheaper than, than paying your lawyers. It. What's a relatively low amount? It's gonna. Like it's this. gonna depend. It depends on the thing. Okay. Yeah. We're, we're darkly. One of my friends who do, works at a injury law firm was showing me the standard settlement for various maimings and injuries. It's like a left eye is worth this much. An really? arm is worth that yeah. much. They have a. They have a list of of body parts. That, that was wow. a hu- Wasn't it a huge controversy? Controversy with was it Ford? Maybe. Maybe. When one of their cars kept exploding oh, Pinto. or something. Was it the Pinto? Yeah. And yeah. and it came out that their attorneys had kind of drafted a guide for the settlement saying you know okay if this is the injury this is what we're willing oh to pay for God. it and people got very upset and I may Which be is, misremembering that but that's something I, it's in my head from law school I'm getting nods that, yeah. that yes I'm right like, um, <laughs> yeah. that's insane yeah. though that's a crazy concept that hey like you can get a different I mean I guess that makes sense but like yeah. there's a, I mm-hmm. like the idea that there's this codified list of like if you lose a left eye it's not as important if you're right eye dominant or yeah, something like that yeah, so, some things are worth more and less than others. I think yeah, right reason. arms are worth more than left arms generally because people write with the right arm. Right. There's a good concept yeah. of this because you want it to be fairly standard across all cases. Mm-hmm. So, like, people don't get judgments not too skewed. In some ways, it's actually good for legal system because you can settle it without having to go to court. So if you yeah. know how much this generally impacts people, you can get your check and then not have to sue them and wait a year or two mm-hmm. to go through the judicial system. Yeah, yeah. it helps with, with judicial mm-hmm. economy and all that. But I, but I guarantee yeah. with this kind of Waffle House thing, this particular situation, there's probably some lawyer sizing up the damages. Absolutely. Yeah. Paint for me the perfect situation. Let's say I <laughs> get <laughs> shot at Waffle House. I get shot in the arm, right? Yeah. So yeah. I, I'm entitled to my left arm settlement, I hope. So, um, I, what, what does Waffle House have to do, cut and dry? What would be a really, really great case for me <laughs> That Waffle House, I have proof of all these things that Waffle House did. Actually, I have, I have Waffle, an if, if the suitor literally came to the Waffle House yeah. and told them, I'm going <laughs> to shoot these people when they come in at yeah. 4.30 okay. in your parking lot, and they told everybody who worked there, and no one called the police. Gotcha. Or if... Or they're like, fuck you. It went like a further on, they yeah. made fun of him. Oh, you were afraid <laughs> yeah. of getting shot? <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, and then moved on. And, yeah. like, and, or uh, another good example would be if, you know, maybe an employee of the Waffle House felt unsafe because of whatever and they said to these people hey we're going to give you free food if you like sit around the waffle house and make sure things are okay right and then they're kind of like bringing them in as like quote unquote security kind of like that old i think it was a rolling stones concert where they hired hell's angels to be security and then when a hell's angel killed someone um you know suddenly a lot of people are in trouble because you're, wow. you're bringing them in as you as an agent yeah. essentially at that point so that could be another reason way but, oh, yeah, but yeah. again it's I really don't unlikely. think that's what happened. <laughs> I think Waffle yeah. House so just either. happened to be where these people were. I, it it right. could have just as easily happened in, in a parking lot or, or anywhere else. At it's a Chick-fil-A. Waffle House. It, exactly. It, 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 it happened waffle, to be at a Waffle House. Waffle House's danger is for these situations that they're open 24 hours a day. <laughs> these kind of crimes tend to happen in the dark, and Waffle House is open in the dark. In the dark, if you've, <laughs> if you've been drinking, yep. yeah, yeah, so, stuff like that. That's it, partially why it's so great, though. You know, It's like, oh, yeah. anything can you, happen. You, 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 honestly, if I'm the DeKalb County... Uh, 
um, police or whatever city it is, I'm just like, I'm just gonna have an office of the Waffle House all the time. Oh, but so yeah. many do Waffle House do at each location. Yeah, there's there's a lot of locations. Of yeah. Waffle House. Honestly, or do you just have somebody they... doing a Waffle House beat, and it's like two yeah. officers that just drive That's a circuit true. of all the Waffle cool. Houses? Trusty. I, I do like Waffle House. Having said all that, <laughs> I, I love Waffle House. It's one of the reasons I moved to the South. <laughs> don't sue me, Waffle House. I'm. <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever had a waffle from there. I've only got like. Oh, uh, you're missing out. What you yeah. do is you get the waffle, and then you get the the chocolate chips and the peanut butter chips, and then you wow. put butter and syrup on it, and, and then, then you, you eat that, you and then and then you get a side of bacon, and you break that up, <laughs> and you put it on the waffle. I love America. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful or at least enjoyable. Um, listening to us um, rip apart the great legal questions from the depths of the internet. It would help us out if you could like, share, or leave a comment below this video. Also, if you want to protect your family through the estate planning process, please give us a call. Our direct number is 404-738-9538. And you can also leave us an email at the address below.